Since 2014, Mercedes has been unstoppable. They have won over 70% of all races during this period, and they have won all seven championships in the hybrid era. The preseason testing for 2021, however, did not go as many had expected for Mercedes, and Red Bull appeared to be the fastest team. They appear to have carried that over to the first practice sessions of 2021 as well. Toto Wolff and Christian Horner, team principals of Mercedes and Red Bull, have now given their opinion on why this might be the case. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, why Red Bull have adapted to 2021 regulation changes better than Mercedes. Horner began by stating that it wouldn't be right to downplay Mercedes' potential, especially since the car is a carryover from last year. Being judged on a day's work or whatever would be foolhardy. Mercedes have dominated the world championship for the last seven years. It's a probably 60% carryover car from last year. He then added how Mercedes have the resources to rectify the issues with their 2021 car. One swallow doesn't make a summer, as they say, and I think whatever difficulties they had in the test, they've got huge strength in depth and we know it would be very, very foolish to underestimate them. He then gave his opinion on who the title favourites for this season are. So I think with the kind of success they've achieved, not only last year but the last seven years, it would be foolhardy to think anybody other than Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes are the firm favourites going into this championship. And Toto Wolff seemed to agree with Horner at first. I think what Christian says is just what happened over the last years and is the logical consequence. This is a fact you can't ignore. He, however, also feels they have suffered more as far as the changes to the regulations are concerned. But also, even if it looks like a carry-forward car, there was still, I think we've probably suffered more with the change of regulations than the cars with the higher rake, and the Red Bull has followed that concept since many years. He signed off by stating that he expects a tough fight. So, maybe it's more difficult for us to recover some of the lost downforce, but so far, what I've seen, and what I hope is, that we can have a really tough fight. It's what the fans want to see, and what we would like to have. Fast Feed McLaren CEO Zach Brown feels that Mercedes and Red Bull have been the class of the field here for a while. He added that McLaren hoped to close the gap, but it would be unrealistic to think that they would get in the mix on a regular basis. However, he also stated that they are on their way and hopefully they'll be able to join in that fight in the not-too-distant future. Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas has revealed that the last long run they did was pretty difficult during free practice. He added that he couldn't really put any laps together and the car felt nearly undrivable at times. His teammate Lewis Hamilton surmised that stability, it's all about having a stable car and being able to make the tyres last. That's going to be the key in this climate and with the wind they have here, added Lewis. He also stated that the windy forecast for Sunday is not great for them. Red Bull's Max Verstappen is pretty happy with the start of the weekend. Alpine's Fernando Alonso feels that it was fantastic to be back in free practice session in Formula 1. You feel the extra adrenaline with the traffic and everything going on around you. It's very different to testing. It felt good, and he felt the racing spirit each lap, which he enjoyed. Haas driver Mick Schumacher has stated that as a driver, he knows he has the tools to improve the lap time. He'll be working hard on himself to keep improving and keep learning. Pirelli F1 boss Mario Isola has divulged that the performance gap between medium and soft tyres is a little higher here than they initially thought. Alpha Tauri's Yuki Tsunoda disclosed that last year he was more swearing a lot and losing his focus, so he's trying to train like this to not swear a lot. And he reiterated that he always tries to be more calm every session, because this is like his weakest point. Can McLaren find themselves in the mix at the front of the grid? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.